Right, today I've got the number one Aegis Scepter build. I've seen a couple of videos of this over the last couple of seasons, but this build is by far the best, because what we're going to do is get loads and loads of extra damage, take care of champions without no mods, add control galore, and we're going to get, like I said, absolutely humongous damage increase featuring Font of Might and High Energy Fire. And an exotic called Mantle of Battle Harmony on the Warlock. And we're going to be running Ice Flare Bolts to freeze everything in sight. Stay tuned. Because I'm going to break everything down for you. Aegis Scepter. It's a stasis trace rifle. What it does, final blows with this weapon. Generate a slowing burst around the defeated target. Uh, what it does, it's a really big radius to be honest with you. You're going to freeze loads of enemies uh, in a close proximity. If you get a final kill on an enemy. It's really, really, really strong. Especially if you pair it with a stasis subclass and then the catalyst what this does is when you've got your super If you hold to reload, it's going to drain your super really slowly But it turns the stasis sort of laser beam into an overpowered laser beam It does loads of extra damage and what it does over time it drains your super But it turns it into a massive laser beam and if you pair it with mantle of battle harmony it works out to be an absolutely insane combo because what Mantle of Battle Harmony does, take downs with weapons that have a damage type matching your subclass element, grant you super energy. So they work perfectly together. But then what happens on the second part is when you've got your super energy, so when your super energy is full, what this chest piece does then, it gives you a 20% damage increase, which stacks with things of font of might. So getting your super up with this is really easy, you get fast supers, and on top of that you were also going to get a nice damage boost whenever you've got your super like so so just them two alone the pair really really nice together you're going to get loads of extra damage uh, we've got loads more things to add on to this as well so font of might but just to clarify just on their own this is a combo made in heaven mantle of battle harmony and Aegis Scepter, because to work perfectly together, you're going to get your super up really fastly with the chest piece as well, so you get loads of good fast supers, and then you're going to get that extra damage whenever you've got your super energy. But like I said earlier on, we can stack things like Font of Might, so in this clip here, I just want to break this down. I'm running Glacial Harvest as one of my stasis aspects. Whenever I free something, you're going to create a stasis shard, and then if you run this mod here, Elemental Shards, all the shards that you create are going to turn to Elemental Wells, which is then going to allow us to run Font of Might. So keeping Font of Might up going all the time, 25% damage increase, it's really, really naughty. And then on a Mantle of Battle Harmony build, one of the other mods I run is Font of Wisdom. That maxes out your intellect every time you pick up a Elemental Well or Elemental Shard in this case. And then the very last thing you can do is run Elemental Charge, picking up an Elemental Well or Shard again is going to make us charge well light, and then we can stack High Energy Fire on that. So just to clarify, we're going to have high energy fire going, font of might, font of wisdom, all from one of these shards, plus the extra damage that you get from a mantle of battle harmony, that absorption cells, and it's just a combo, which is really easy once you've got the mod set up. You're going to create loads of shards everywhere, and then with some of the other things that I've going on with my fragments as well, you're going to get healing from these shards as well which I will break down at the end of the video, I'll break my full build down but you can just see here how easy these sort of situations are and all the shards that you're creating now one of the main features for me personally with Aegis is being able to deal with barrier champions and overload champions especially against barrier champions, you do not need anti-barrier once you've got that going, look at that crazy, you don't need any anti-barrier, it'll just keep freezing and freezing and it's absolutely insane for ad clearance on top of that as well so we've got all different types of mixtures going on great for ad clearance great great for like damage against champions now there's a couple of div other different aspects you can run if you wish uh bleak watcher for easy turrets are good but i prefer ice flare bolts shattering a frozen target spawn seekers that track and freeze other nearby targets and um, with Aegis scepter it works really nicely because you're freezing everything anyway Plus you've got your grenade and your melee to freeze stuff. You're just going to literally freeze like massive areas of enemies like so. And it turns anything into easy mode to be honest. Look at all these. They're just frozen. It even tracks the champion in the end. Just that ice flare bolts with the Aegis Scepter works absolutely perfectly. And then you'll notice here again. I'm charged with light. I'm using my super. And it just absolutely shreds. So 
one of the key features of this sort of setup is stack in front of mate and all them shards there look on that right they've just traveled towards me to healing me as well and just from them shards it's give me charge well eight times two for my high energy fire and i've also got a front of mate going and the absorption cells from the mantle of battle harmony and it absolutely shreds and i just want to say uh, for lost sectors master catch things like that this build is just crazy it's just makes things super super easy it's actually overpowered for things like that I actually felt overpowered in the gm yeah, then maruda's in that clip there you'll know if you've run this gm they're a bit pesty but it absolutely chews through these and it definitely makes gms and things like that seem super super easy uh, that's pretty much the full build uh, what i'm going to do is also break down uh, everything else that's going on on my build I've, I've got a build card and i'm going to show you some other weapons as well that work nicely to pair with it uh, tarnished metal with vault shot is a pretty good one any sort of arc bow but because of this setup as well what we've got going on with a font of might and all everything like that you can take advantage of other stasis weapons uh, the stasis weapons that i recommend are something like quillum's terminus with headstone or anything stasis with headstone uh, I think there's another machine gun, Palmyra B with lasting impression. Uh, this setup is going to benefit them as well with a font of might and the high energy fire. But the Palmyra B is definitely one of the ones to use because you can take advantage of that lasting impression. I'll show you a clip now. So this is just basically what you've seen so far but adding the lasting impression Palmyra B. As you can see there, I'm getting all them shards that are going to travel towards me. And that's going to give me my charge while I for high energy fire plus the font of my extra damage i stuck my lasting impression rocket launcher i'll take advantage of that stasis Aegis scepter uh, catalyst and it's pretty it's a pretty nice little combo and like i said there is loads of other weapons you can use with it it benefits any weapon with the high energy fire but stasis weapons in particular are going to get the high energy fire and the font of might so that's pretty much it i will break the uh, build down now with a build card but I just wanted to let you know, I truly believe this is the best build for Aegis Scepter. It's one of the first ones I ever did on the channel, to be honest with you. Back, like, a couple good year ago, and I'd been using it as well prior to me doing a video on it for a good couple of seasons. Literally, as soon as I got Aegis Scepter and Mantle of Battle Harmony come out, I was using this because it's just such a beast of a combo. Uh, there is other, other builds out there at the moment that are pretty good as well. But for me, this is the best one. Alright, stay tuned, build card, I'm going to start banging on, I've got a build card for you now. So I massively appreciate you watching, hope the video was useful, I hope you enjoy it, definitely give it a try. Uh, thanks for watching, have a great day.